Hello everyone. It's been six months plus with Fluval Flex modified for reef tank for reef. So this is how it looks. You can see my previous video. As you can see, Green Star Polyp is growing really well. I have moved it to the walls. Here's my skunk shrimp, cleaner shrimp. There's a uh, I think it's a Polytel, same as these green ones, but different color, it's a new one. Uh, these are growing really well, and as you can see, I have like three times as many as I had. Toads will also gain some, gain some size. Compared to my last video, you can see many more corals here. Uh, Coraline algae everywhere on the sides. I think there's a good sign. These are growing real well, well too. That's branching Psamocora and the Hydnophora. That's a new addition to, uh, not those two, <laughs> uh, frog spawn. That seems doing well. And it's a small wreck. I fracked a couple Zoantis here. And this diamond goby I have. Actually, it's a different one from the first video. Unfortunately, I learned that they will find a hole in the cover, which was this. I have three printed a cover, so that now there's no way for anything to jump out. So it's been here for, for months. I have some corals here, and just a small wreck. So, poor Pozoas, it's feeding time, so all the fish are very eager to see me here, as you can see. Some Fabias, and well, I had them for half year, I don't see new polyps, unfortunately. I was hoping that it will grow around the that center thing, but oh well. I had a little bit of issue with this one, the orange one in the back. A couple months after I put it in, inside, it didn't want to grow, but lately I've seen that it's like spreading to the rock, so I guess it's doing well now. So, it's a Fluval Flex 15, modified. I have Fluval, Fluval Reef Light at the top. Uh, what else I can show you here? Not much, I mean, <laughs> it's a small tank, so I was doing really well. Uh, I have like six uh, hermit crabs. I have a lot of these small snails. I didn't buy them, they just showed up here. And I see some spaghetti worms, or I think they call all them also uh, hair worms. So, that's the lid here with the light. I also 3D printed these small covers here, so there's no chance something jumping out. That's the skimmer. I'm really happy with this. As a side of the tank, that's not the most beautiful thing to see, but I'm fine with this. I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks.